I'm coined the painter of memories. What I try to do is make people smile with my art. My father ended up being a ceramics teacher in his retirement. My mother was a fashion designer and art teacher. They were a big influence. For toys, my father would bring home a tablet of paper and a pencil, and I'd just sit for hours and lose myself in the day, drawing, mostly automobiles. It's fun to come down to the studio. You're just involved between the painting and the paint, and the painting and the paint. Some of my best prints are of restaurants like the Chuck Wagon, places like Good Memories. I listen to people and I hear their memories. I hear the Wilmington Dry Goods, of people with their mother going down for back to school to get their clothes, or one of the many theaters in town. I enjoy the research, but more than anything, once I have the research done, the drawing. Once you're looking at a blank page and you have a concept in your mind, putting it on paper, you just lose yourself. In honor of my mother begging me to paint all those years, I put a cross, a white cross in the painting and hide it and crypt it in the painting in her honor. People actually come up at shows, or there are children that come up and just start looking until they find it. And they say, there it is, Mommy. I almost have an endless supply in this little 12 mile wide state of cool stuff to paint. I really thrive off of the feeling of other people. It's hard to describe, but when you see people smile, it may not be your memory, but it actually has become my memory, and to share it is really sort of cool.